Hey friends, hope you're doing well. In this video, we're going to explore how we can use open source large language models in Excel. So the idea is that instead of using ChatGPT, for instance, we use our local or own local model. So we can use this in private and for free. So how to do this? Well, I thought about two approaches. The first one was that I could use Power Query for that. Now, I gave that a try, but unfortunately, I was not able to uh, request data from my local host. So from a local hosted large language model. That was not possible so far for me, but maybe you, you have done it and then please let me know in the comments. The second idea was then, okay, I could write a custom um, function using VBA in Excel. So that's what I did and I'm going to show you uh, at first how it works and then of course we also have a look at the function. Now for that, I decided to go with Olama. So I installed Olama on my local system to have a local large language model. And I went with the new Llama 3.2. So the latest large language model from uh, Meta. Because this is very fast and gives very good results. So uh, let's just see that in action. So for that, I have here two queries. So who is Marky D. Luffy and who is Naruto? So in this case, I can now go in here and I can call my function. So equals and then in this case, call LLM API. That's the name of the function. But of course, it could be any kind of name. So now, next, I need to give it the prompt. And the prompt itself is the query. So that's my query in here. I can refer to that. And then I just press enter. And then I wait for a response. Now, because it's currently in a table, I should actually get responses for both of them. So you can see now it's there. So it took a little bit of time. But you can see that the data is not streaming, of course. I'm not sure whether this is possible, actually in Excel to stream the data. But um, in here, like that, we just wait until the model is finished with the generation and then we get the response. And you, can, you have seen that it's actually quite fast, so it doesn't take very long. And uh, you can see these are the responses. Of course, you can stop the video and just read this first part if you want, but you can hopefully see that this worked. And um, how does it work? Well, let's have a look at that. Now, my Excel currently is in German, but you should actually uh, find yourself. So I go to the developer tools here, and then I go to uh, VBA, so Visual Basic, or you press Alt F11, that would also work, and I go inside here. Now, the first thing before we get uh, continue with this is we need to have Olama installed for that. So if you download install Olama, you can then go to your terminal, and for instance, if you type in Olama, you should actually see all the commands in here. This tells us that uh, Llama is running, and then of course, you need to also download the model. In this case, I went with the new Llama model, but you could also use a different model. So after this is clear and the Llama server is running locally, we can now go to the function itself. Now the function in here is just um, a macro like, and it needs in this case URL, which in this case, that's very important, is localhost. So we host it locally, so no internet connection necessary. And we need to give the port, which is 11434, and then the API generate. Then for the body, we specify what is the model itself. We also specify the prompt. The prompt, of course, is coming from the function. So this is what we refer, for instance, in an Excel cell here, right? So after that, we also need uh, uh, another parameter, which is stream, which we set to false because we do not stream the data. We wait until the model has finished generating the response, and then we just put the response in a specific cell for the answer. So for instance, in here, right, or here. So uh, this is that. And then of course, we uh, will do all the, we send the post request. And then there's one thing, this is why this function is currently not perfect. Um, the issue is that if the, we get a JSON response, and if you really want to use a JSON response, you need um, an additional package um, in VBA, which you need to download and install. So it's a, a third party package, as far as I know. And you also need to import this package then in your Excel file. And because I did not want to do this, I just, uh, well, uh, cheated a little bit. Because what I did was I searched for a specific string. So you can search for a start position and end position. And uh, there is an end position, which is always um, a done in quotation marks. So uh, we can clearly find this done in quotation marks um, inside the response from the model. And uh, this is the end of the actual response. So after that, there's additional information for the request, so for the prompt and so on, but it's not related to the answer directly. It's more like how many tokens have been used and so on. So uh, that's why I just search for the word done in quotes. And then I just extract the text in between this to get my response. So this, of course, is technically cheating because we are not completely sure whether, for instance, done in quotes may also arise or come inside the answer. And then the answer would be cut off. That's that's a problem here. I just want to mention that. But beside this, of course, um, that's how it works. And yeah, then, of course, I gave the function a name here and then I just respond, uh, get the response here. This content. And that's basically the function itself. And uh, as soon as we have this and we also stored the Excel file as a macro file, right, then we can actually call it. So, for instance, if I say, uh, what is the capital 
of France. So we don't have to necessarily have something in a table structure. Um, if you just want to have one answer, you just ask a question. And then for instance here, I say equals C, right? And then I get my call LLM API. And then of course I refer to the cell, where's my question or the prompt itself. I just close this, I press enter, and then just wait uh, just a few seconds and then I should get the response here is the capital of France is Paris. So that is it for uh, this video. So hopefully that was interesting to you. So if it was, please let me know. Also give it a thumbs up. And if you have not done so far, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks a lot. I highly appreciate it. It means a lot to me. So hopefully see you in the next video. Until then, best guys.